I love a good Disney World challenge, and the last time I tried one, I failed. I've seen your comments, I've heard your suggestions, and I've decided to try it again. I am once again attempting to ride every single ride in Disney World in two days. Is it even possible? I don't know. Am I crazy? Probably a little bit, but am I gonna do it anyway? Yes, and I'm taking you with me. Let's go. I'm a very competitive person. I love a good challenge, and sometimes that means even challenging myself. The last time I tried this was my no sleep challenge that is already on the channel. Ultimately, it was not successful. Now, I'm trying it again, but this time, I'm sleeping tonight. This is not the no sleep challenge part two. This is, can I ride every single ride at Disney World in two days? I do believe that no sleep had a negative effect on my decision making skills when it came to strategy. So this time I will be sleeping tonight to rest after day one and prepare for day two. Now why do we do big fun challenges like this on our channel? Number one, because they're fun and exciting and entertaining. But number two, it also helps you to plan your Disney vacation. I will be utilizing Disney Genie Plus and I will be showing you the ins and outs of the system, all the tricks we have, everything to make sure you get your money's worth if you decide to purchase Disney Genie Plus for your vacation. Disney tells you to expect to only get two to three lightning lanes per day, not on Fry's watch. Now it is currently 8.40 a.m. I am here in Magic Kingdom. There is early entry today. That is something for Disney Resort guests only. And so they actually get into the park 30 minutes before park opening. If you are staying at a Disney World Resort, we do encourage you to take full advantage of that because that's a really great perk. But I am not staying at a Disney Resort today. So I'm gonna take our advice that we tell you if you're not staying on property and going left because all of the Disney Resort guests are going to be over in Fantasyland, probably all trying to get on Peter Pan's flight and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. If you are not a resort guest, we encourage you to go left and start in Adventureland because there won't be any crowds there. So you can get a lot more done this way. So while we wait for the park to open, let's talk about what I already have. So at 7 a.m. this morning, I did ask my friends for some help. So um, Quincy and Emma got me a Tron virtual queue and they actually did really, really well. I'm group 15. So that's gonna be pretty quick after park opens. So I may only get one, two rides in before I have to go over to Tron, which is great because I didn't pay for that free virtual queue. So I have Tron virtual queue. And then I at 7 a.m. booked my first lightning lane for Jungle Cruise. And that will be at 11.10 this morning. And then at 8 a.m. Animal Kingdom opened and that's where I'm park hopping after 2 p.m. So at 8 a.m. I actually bought the individual lightning lane for Flight of Passage for 4.30. So I already have three rides booked, ready to go. So you know what? I feel really good about this. I, I don't want to jinx myself, but I feel really good about this. I think it's time to tell you that there's actually um, a little part of this challenge that I haven't mentioned yet. In fact, there is a punishment. So if I do not ride every single Disney World ride, all 51 in two days, we came up with a new punishment. This envelope says top secret on it. And I bet you're wondering what's so secret about that envelope. So inside this envelope is the name of a city and an activity. If I do not complete this challenge, I will then at the very end of this challenge, on camera, open up this envelope, tell you the city, tell you the activity, and I have to go do it. The city could be anywhere in the United States. I have no idea. Producers have picked it for me and the activity. So, what I will say is whatever city this is, the city itself is not a punishment. I love traveling. I think it's so much fun. I love exploring new places. I'm very excited about this. However, the punishment is the activity. So wherever the city is, I will have to fly there and figure out how to do that activity. And it's probably gonna be something weird because I know our producers and they like to have fun. This could be very, very interesting. For future challenges, comment down below um, cities where you live if there's interesting and weird, fun things to do in your city that um, makes it unique. Let us know down below, we would love to hear it. I, I think we're gonna start using this punishment quite a bit. So we're going to need help with some ideas on where to send all of our contestants. Okay, so park officially opened. I am heading towards Big Thunder Mountain. A lot of people went straight to Jungle Cruise because that was the first ride that they saw on their left. So a lot of people went to Jungle Cruise. I walked past Pirates and Pirates is currently closed. They have not opened yet for the day. Probably just a few more minutes, but we don't have time for that. I will say it is now 9 a.m. so I was able to make 
another lightning lane um, selection. So I did buy the individual lightning lane for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train for $8.50 at night. We're doing really good. Let's go see what Big Thunder is like. There's not many people back here as I'm walking around, so I think this is gonna be a good choice. Looks like the line is back here, which is not bad. It looks like a long line, but it's gonna move quickly. Standby entrance, that's 10 minutes, so we're doing it. Check, done, that was only a 15 minute wait. Um, things are not great right now because Pirates is still down, which was gonna be another one of my rope drop choices. Haunted Mansion is a 35 minute wait. I don't wanna do anything really over 25 minutes right now, so I can't do that. Peter Pan, way high. So what I'm gonna do next, the train is here at the Frontierland train station. That's technically a ride. I will go over that in a second. So I think I'm about to hop on this train, take it over to Fantasyland, Storybook Circus, and I might, I might have to do one or two fillers, which isn't what I wanted to do, but we're here. If you want a sneak peek at what's happening over at Tiana's Bayou Adventure, there it is. So as a reminder, I did this last time. What is on my list? We are classifying anything as a ride with a seat that moves. So Carousel of Progress, counts as a ride because the seat moves. Beauty and the Beast live on stage, that's a show. It doesn't count. I'm not going to do shows. I'm only doing rides. Okay, I was a little disappointed about me actually choosing to do this railroad right now, but oh my goodness, I'm so amazed with myself. So, my Tron virtual queue is group 15, okay? They're on group 12. So this is going to be perfect timing that I'm doing one of my attractions on the way to Tron. That, okay, I'm not, I'm not worried anymore. That was a good decision. Nice. Okay, while I'm here in Fantasyland, Barnstorm is only a 15 minute wait. I think I'm gonna do that. And then after that, I will head over to Tron. Barnstorm is done. I have been called my boarding group. So let's go ride Tron. Also, if you don't know, over here back in Storybook Circus, there is a walking path that connects you right to Tron. So I'll get there quickly. So let's talk about this ride list that I have. Now we do have the same number of rides as last time for my no sleep challenge, but a few have swapped. Of course, Splash Mountain is gone, closed forever to be rethemed at Tiana's Bayou Adventure, but now we have Tron Light Cycle Run. That wasn't open last time when I did this. And in Animal Kingdom, when I did the no sleep challenge, Cali River Rapids was closed for refurbishment. It is now open, but over in Hollywood Studios, Rock and Roller Coaster was open last time, and right now it is currently closed for refurbishment. Still ended up with the same total number of rides, and that number is 51 rides on my list. Tron, of course, is the newest ride in Disney World located in Tomorrowland in Magic Kingdom. Because this ride is new, there's no standby line. You can currently ride it with a virtual queue that you have to book right at 7 a.m., but they get booked up very, very quickly, like within seconds at 7 a.m. Or you can buy an individual lightning lane, which is a date-based fee per person per ride. Also something to keep in mind is that you can only buy two individual lightning lanes per day. At 8 a.m. I bought the individual lightning lane for flight of passage and then in a few minutes actually I will be trying to buy the individual lightning lane for seven doors and that will be my second individual lightning lane of the day, last one I can buy for today. Because this ride is new and very very popular you have to return within your return time window. If you have a virtual queue and say it ends at noon, starts at 11, ends at noon, if you get here at 12.02, they are not going to let you in because it's so popular, they just can't accommodate that right now. Bye. All right, Tron is so much fun. It's not my favorite ride in all of Disney World, but it's very fun. You should try for the virtual queue. If you get the virtual queue, you should ride it.
Now, looking at the wait times, Pirates of the Caribbean is still closed, so not looking good for the pirates. Um, Magic Carpets of Aladdin is closed, which it was before I got on Tron. Um, the People Mover is also closed. I see it running, but there's nobody on it. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is 95. Jungle Cruise is 65. Space is 60. Peter Pan's Flight, 60. Haunted Mansion is at 60. Big Thunder is at 55, but we got that one done. Okay, wow. Tomorrowland Speedway is 45 minutes. Um, Dumbo is 45 minutes. Y'all, it's crowded today in Disney World. I believe there was a run Disney race that happened today. So, crowds are here today. You know what, maybe I go do Carousel Progress right now. Knock that one out. I walked up and we're walking right in, so it's perfect timing. Century over 20 some odd years ago. You know that pilot fellow, Charles Lindbergh? He's about to fly a single wing airplane all the way across the Atlantic. All right, carousel progress done. Pirates is up, Pirates is running, so we don't have an issue with that anymore. Pirates is currently 30 minutes, Haunted Mansion is 35. It is 10 38 right now. At 11, I could book my next Lightning Lane because the last one I booked was at 9 a.m. So two hours after that, 11, I'm about to be able to book my next lightning lane. However, it's no longer rope drop time. So I don't love a 35 minute wait for Haunted Mansion, but I feel like I need to do either Haunted Mansion or Pirates because I don't want to do all of my filler attractions right now. And Tom Sawyer Rafts and the Riverboat close earlier in the day. So I just need to keep that in mind. I'm heading to the other side of the park. I don't know what I want to do yet. Now, if the riverboat was here right now, I would consider getting on it, but it's not. So I'm going to see what Haunted Mansion looks like. Still says 35 in the app. Just kidding. We're turning around. <laughs> the app now says that it is a 50 minute wait, five zero, almost an hour. So we're not going to do that. However, according to the app, Pirates is still at a 30, so we're gonna head to Adventureland, hop on Pirates. Disney Genie Plus is Disney's skip the line service. There are three different levels of Genie Plus. There's the free Genie, which is tip boards. It gives you ideas about best times to ride, mobile order, all of that kind of stuff, totally free. Second level Genie Plus is Disney Genie Plus. That is a date-based fee, one time per person per day. And that will give you access to over 50 lightning lanes across all four parks. The highest level is the individual lightning lane selections. Now these are the most popular rides in each park. The individual lightning lanes are date-based fees per ride, per person. Those are gonna be Tron in Magic Kingdom, Guardians of the Galaxy in Epcot, Flight of Passage in Animal Kingdom, Rise of the Resistance in Hollywood Studios, also, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train in Magic Kingdom. Oh, there's Captain Jack Sparrow. Hello. How fitting. I'm about to go ride pirates. All right, pirates is done. Checked off the list. And now it is currently 11.24. And at 7 a.m. this morning, I booked Jungle Cruise. And that lightning lane has now started. It started at 11.10. So we're heading right next door, still in Adventureland heading to Jungle Cruise. Now, when I got in line for Pirates, it was posted 30 minute wait. After I got into the line, that's when it went up to 55 minutes. It was only 20 minute wait, actually, which was very nice. Current standby wait for Jungle Cruise is 70 minutes. So, very happy I got this lightning lane. The Disney classic, the Jungle Book of the day is your lucky day because there it is. <laughs> oh, there's the Jungle Book. Okay, so actually Skipper Patrick just told me the best joke I've ever heard on the Jungle Cruise. As we were coming up towards the waterfall, like driving towards it, he quoted Emperor's New Group whenever they are heading towards the waterfall. And it was the funniest joke I've ever heard. Way to go Skipper Patrick, that was amazing. So now I think it's time to ride the riverboat. I see it unloading, so I think I'm gonna hop on. Perfect timing. All right, I'm on the riverboat. I'm actually gonna come hang out in the front. There's actually seats up here. Also, while I'm on the riverboat waiting for it to take off, I do need to tell you that while I was in line for Pirates, I booked my next lightning lane and I got Peter Pan, Peter Pan's flight for 540, which is not the time that I want because I will be at another park at that time. So I keep 
watching it, you can modify Genie Plus Lightning Lane selections. So I've done that once already and I pushed it back to 630. So I'm just gonna keep doing that to push it back farther and farther. So it'll be later on in the evening. Today, the outfit that I'm wearing, I think is the most comfortable outfit I've ever worn to a Disney park. I don't know what took me so long to wear one of these athletic dresses. I love it. And if you want some inspiration on what to wear to your next Disney World vacation, go check us out at All Your Style on Instagram or online at allyours.net slash outfit. We have tons of outfits there for you. Good ideas for what to wear to each park. We also have essentials. So skincare essentials, makeup essentials, park bag essentials. We have everything there for you. We can tell you what works, what doesn't work, and what's practical and not practical when on your Disney World vacation. So go check it out. Got off the riverboat and I'm getting a little hungry. It's 12.20, so it's around lunchtime. While I was on the riverboat, I mobile ordered for Columbia Harbor House. So I'm about to press, I'm here, prepare my order. So I mobile ordered a trio platter from Columbia Harbor House. This is one of my favorite quick services in Magic Kingdom. I get this all the time. I mobile ordered it, so I'm gonna pick it up here and then grab it and eat it on the go while we go ride Tom Sawyer Raps. Got my lunch, got the trio platter from Columbia Harbor House. Um, this might be a little tricky to eat on the go, but I love it. I get this all the time, even when I'm here, not for filming, for fun. So it's chicken tenders, fish sticks, and hush puppies with fries. So I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna walk to Frontierland and do Tom Sawyer rafts. That is something I cannot do after I park hop back to Magic Kingdom later this evening. They close early, so I need to do that minimum before I leave this park. Alright, so I made it over to Tom Sawyer Island. This is actually a really fun place to hang out. If your kids need to run off some steam, if you need a break away from the crowds, there's really no one ever over here. So there's some people, but it's never crowded. So this is a great place to come and play and there's a bunch of tunnels and crazy things, but I'm gonna hop right back in line to get on the raft to keep going. I put the leftovers of the trio platter in my lounge fly. Yeah, no comment on that. I think I'm gonna park hop now. A lot of these Magic Kingdom rides I can do later because today and tomorrow, Magic Kingdom stays open until 11. The other parks are not open that late. So, last time when I did this challenge, I was too focused on all the Magic Kingdom rides first, and that was bad strategy. So I'm changing it up this time. So this time I did a little bit of Magic Kingdom. Now I'm gonna park hop. Hopefully get everything done in Animal Kingdom right now while I park hop. Then come back to Magic Kingdom for a couple hours. Hopefully finish Magic Kingdom. We will see. There's a castle show going on. So that door is closed. So I gotta go around. But look, they're doing work on the moat today. Huh. I'm very sad, I love that castle show, but I don't have time to watch it right now. I've got a ride challenge to complete. Let's keep going. All right, time to get on the monorail. Thankfully, it's midday. Not even midday yet. There's gonna be nobody up here in line. You might be thinking, oh, I guess you're going to Epcot. No, I'm going to Animal Kingdom. Now you might be thinking, well, Fry, you're going the wrong way. You need to get on a bus for Animal Kingdom. I've arranged myself a special ride. Okay, I'm here at Rideshare waiting for my ride. Oh my gosh, it's Pipper! Oh my goodness! Don't you be surprised on my life! Uh, oh my goodness! Hi! Everyone, I would all like you to meet the love of my life. Hi, Pipper! Hey, yo! So, if we ever talk about Pepper, this is Emma Stowe. So shout out to Emma on her day off, of coming course. to pick me up and take me to Animal Kingdom because you need for this. Oh, oh my God! Uh, oh, she just needs. To she just. We just need to hold hands. Sorry. Um, I have a question for you. Um, do you want any part of a trio platter from Columbia Harbor House? Sure. It's in my lounge fly. Sure. <laughs> So yesterday we filmed a perfect day at Magic Kingdom and I got a Rice Krispie treat at the end of the night. I put my leftover Columbia Harbor House here in this bag. Oh my god. 
So if you want any, I don't have any of the fries. That's okay. But I got all the rest. I, you know what? Sure, surprise me. Okay, put your hand in there. See what you pull out. I like the <laughs> oh, a chicken tender. There you go. Hey. There's your lunch. And just like that, we are now at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> so it is currently 1.32. And you can't park hop until 2 p.m. So I'm gonna hang out here for a few minutes before I'm allowed to scan in. I ended up asking Emma to see if she could take me because more often than not, Disney buses can sometimes take a long time, up to an hour or more. And really, a Disney bus is the only way to get out here in regards to Disney transportation. There's no monorail, there's no Skyliner, nothing like that. So I figured a car would be much faster and Emma said, if you need anything, let me know. <laughs> and so I took her up on that because she's so nice. All right, and I am inside Animal Kingdom. So fun fact, park hopping starts at 2 p.m. technically, but sneaky little trick, you can actually park hop starting at 1.47. So I'm inside the park, it's before two. Now there's only eight rides in Animal Kingdom. I could get this done. The thing is though, my first lightning lane is at 3.40. So I've got a little bit of time before I have any lightning lanes, so I think I'm gonna head to Kilimanjaro Safaris first. That ride closes earlier than the rest of the park, so I wanna make sure I get that done. And then we'll see how much I can get done before my first lightning lane. And I can book my next lightning lane at 3.02. So, I feel good. Right now, the app says Kilimanjaro Safaris is a 20 minute wait. But it does look like we have found the tallest animals in the world. These are the Maasai giraffes. Maasai giraffes are gonna stand about 18 to 20 feet tall. Okay, just got off the of safaris. Guess who's here? Hello. Daily checking with Sage. Yeah. <laughs> and he already brought me water. Okay, just got off of Kilimanjaro safaris. Super fun. Um, it thundered while I was on safaris. So that made me nervous for all of these outdoor rides that I'm about to have to do. But I think I'm gonna take the train to Rafiki's Planet Watch to get that out of the way. And then we'll make our way around, hopefully in just a straight line circle and go all the way around and get everything done. How was the safari? Was everything super active? It was, yes, okay, because that. it had just rained. So, well, it was raining in the middle. So as we were going, everybody started getting more active. I love it. Yes. We were going to get off and go around because we didn't know the rules, but they said, don't have to get back in line. Not that there was a line to get back to. No. I'm gonna throw her into the single rider line, literally throw. Uh, with my bare hands. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you probably could. <laughs> uh, into the single ride line at Expedition Everest. Uh, and Dinosaur uh, was down, but it is back up, so maybe we'll hit Dinosaur uh, since her lightning lane isn't for another hour. All right, I just dropped her off at Expedition Everest, and uh, she's going through the single rider line. However, I was just looking, and uh, the actual attraction is only a 25 minute wait, which oftentimes, if you see a 25 minute wait, that could potentially mean a really, really short wait. I'm talking five, a walk on to five to 10 minutes easily. We were there for like three seconds. I know, it was so quick. <laughs> Are we going to Dinosaur now? I think so. Okay. Um, dinosaur is 15 minute wait. 15? Yeah. Can I do that one with you? Yes, it's like my absolutely. It's like my favorite one. Aww. 15 minute wait, I smell a walk on. Mm -hmm. I love that smell. Are you going to be okay with the dark places and scary dinosaurs? That's where I live. <laughs> you live in dark places? Yes. Good morning. Guys. Good morning. I'm so hungry. <laughs> what did she just say? I think she said the dinosaurs are hungry. <laughs> You've never heard that before. That cast member just told me the dinosaur is hungry. Got off the ride, which is thrilling, by the way. Yes. You said you still have uh, Triceratops fit on your list? Yes, and it says five minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, like, it's broken. Yeah. I mean, like, you see the, uh, yeah. the mechanic team. Oh. Actively working on it. Okay, oh! Well. There are two that are not working. What do you want to do? Hello. Hello. How are you going, Joy? Thank you.
I thought it was unacceptable. I lost you. You, you make sure you're always with an adult. Uh, yes. Cry. Yes, sir. I, I've never been so scared in my life. <laughs> How was it? It was good. Great. I actually got off of Navi like a minute or two before this one even started. Perfect. You're so good, Fry. Yeah. Proud of you. I'll see, I'll see you tomorrow for another check-in. This has been a midday check-in with Sage, the part of the show where Sage checks in with Fry in the middle of the day. Tune in next time to hear Sage say, Fry, I'm so proud of you. Yes, that's, that's another VeggieTales reference. You're welcome. This land is just amazing. So much thought and detail went into it. I love it. I appreciate it so much. One of my favorites. Systems engaged. had to go but he might meet up later with me later tonight we'll see how that goes right now we're heading towards Cali River Rapids I have a lightning lane for it so it won't take any time at all and then after that all we have is Triceratops spin and then we'll be done with Animal Kingdom I'm outside of Cali River Rapids in three minutes I can book a new lightning lane so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I think I'm going to get I'm gonna try to get Haunted Mansion for later probably in the nine o'clock hour which last time I checked is only at 8. Time to ride Cali River Rapids. I was telling Sage earlier, I can't remember the last time I rode this ride. It might have been in 2019 on my DCP. So this is going to be fun. River Rapids I really didn't get that wet only from my knees down so that's a plus okay so I only have one more ride left here and that is Triceratops spin over in Dino Land probably grab a snack on my way to Epcot okay I'm a little nervous so earlier today Triceratops spin was down in the app and everything then it came back up the app hasn't always been updated because it was down while the app still said it was open. Now the app says it's closed. That's the only one I have left, so I'm a little nervous. Let's go check it out. Oh no! It's closed! That's not good. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna wait it out for 15 minutes. I'm gonna grab a snack from, I think, Trilobites. Over here, I'm gonna get it 15 minutes. It is not up and running by 15 in 15 minutes. We're out of here, we gotta move on to the next park. I swear, if Triceratops spin is my downfall. I've got my snack, and I'm sitting right in front of Triceratops spin. As soon as it comes up, I'm getting in line. I stopped by Trilobites to get buffalo chicken chips. These are house-made chips with buffalo chicken on it, blue cheese dressing, tomatoes, and celery. OMG, OMG. Come on, baby. Good news, good news. Y'all, we made it. Only two minutes after my 15 minute time limit. Yay! Whoa, boy! All right. How was that? That means Animal Kingdom is done. So now it is time to head to Epcot. It's 5.53, which is a little later than I wanted to leave Animal Kingdom, but that's okay. This park is done. On to the next one. I see you in Epcot bus. Please don't leave yet. Oh, the doors are open. Amazing. And just like that, we are in our third park of the day. Let's see what we can get done quickly here at Epcot. I got there in just the right time to get on the bus. He was about to leave for Epcot and then saw me coming and let me on the bus. So that was very nice. Saved me some time. Let's do Spaceship Earth. You'll never get bored on the journey because your cause of technology keeps you connected to friends back home. 
Ooh, I came out on the side that just recently came down. This path is new. Living with the land is only a five minute wait, so we're gonna go do that one. Might leave after that, not sure how I'll feel. We're gonna wait it out and see. But we'll at least get two Epcot rides done before we go back to Magic Kingdom. Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. I have a whole boat to myself. Plan. Many of these, like papaya. Hey look, even when he's not with me, he's with me. Okay, just got off of Living with the Land. It is currently 7.05. I'm feeling lucky. So I'm not quite ready to leave Epcot yet. I think we can squeeze in a couple more rides. I just three minutes ago booked my next lightning lane for later on this evening. So I'm starting, I have been all day, I've been stacking them. So we're gonna have a lot when we get back to Magic Kingdom. So I've got Seven Dwarfs at 8.50, Haunted Mansion 8.15, Winnie the Pooh 8.25, Peter Pan's Flight at 10, so we're going to be moving and grooving when we get back to Magic Kingdom. So I think we can do two more here that are very quick walk-on rides and then we can head over to Magic Kingdom because I need to get there. I need to get to Magic Kingdom before firework crowds start because I want to ride rides during the fireworks because they're all going to be super low weights. So I can't stay here for too long. I have to leave. But it's only 7 o'clock. First up, Journey into Imagination with Figment. And it is absolutely a walk-on. I haven't even stopped. Century Labs. Please remain seated with your hands on the feet. Woohoo! You win one sample! Oh, shoot! Oh, that's really stinks! All right, we are making excellent time. It is 7.17. All right, up next, the seas with Nemo and friends. It is only a five-minute wait. All right, I'm very happy with what we accomplished here in Epcot. Now, back to the monorail to go back to Magic Kingdom. I don't know if it's realistic to say we can get the rest done today, but that's my goal. I mean, we're going to have until 11 p.m., so... Alright, we made it! Back in Magic Kingdom. It is 8 o'clock, 8.03. We have three hours. We have already three or four lightning lanes stacked up that start in 10 minutes. We have a lot of filler attractions left, but I'm not too worried about them. I think they're all gonna have pretty low wait times. Plus, soon everybody will be camped out waiting for fireworks and all of the ride wait times are gonna go down. So we've got Haunted Mansion at 8.15 in 10 minutes. So if you're still wondering how I have so many lightning lanes booked up one after the other, all day today, every single two hours, I booked another lightning lane. And a lot of them, I picked them farther out in advance, as far as they could go. So I knew that I would be here ending my night in Magic Kingdom, and I wanted to zip through all of these rides really quickly. So I started picking lightning lanes based on how far out they were. So a lot of the times that mindset is switched and you want lightning lanes that are as soon as possible, but I did the opposite and I booked them out far in advance so that it could work in my favor. All right, now it's time for Haunted Mansion. It is currently a 55 minute wait. Oh, look at this. Here are the sound oh. Oh. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. All right, now it's very dark outside. So just got off Haunted Mansion. Super fun. Love that ride. Classic Disney dark ride. Now it is time for our Winnie the Pooh lightning lane, but I might ride one or two filler rides on the way there. Oh, well my plan was to ride Small World, but it looks like it is temporarily closed. So we move on. But lucky for us, the Prince Charming Regal Carousel is only a 10 minute wait. So I'm gonna hop in line. I don't know which one I want. 
And our next ride of the evening, we have a lightning lane for Winnie the Pooh. It's 8.45, fireworks start in 15 minutes, so it's about to be power hour, or power 30 minutes. <laughs> Okay, it is 8.51. We have nine minutes until fireworks. Technically, my lightning lane for Seven Dwarfs just started at 8.50, but I'm gonna wait a second because I have an hour to go do that. So I think I'm gonna do a couple more filler attractions, get some more done in Fantasyland. I still have Dumbo back in Storybook Circus. I have some more in Tomorrowland. So I'm gonna wait just a few minutes, maybe one, two, three rides max. Mad Tea Party, walk on, let's go do it. For your safety, please be sure to stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and Look, legs inside your I found it. And do watch your children. This is the setup. <laughs> Seven Dwarfs and the fireworks are gonna start in one minute so I'm about to be on Dumbo while happily ever after is going on it's gonna be such a magical moment are you ready y'all I'm not serious when I say I'm about to cry I love this show so much I missed it it needed to come back I love it with every fiber of my being I'm about to cry on Dumbo and I'm probably gonna show you on camera because I bet you relate to me but we need to talk about what just happened. So that was the most magical moment of my life. I don't think any moment will ever be better than that, frankly. Um, if you saw me sobbing in Fantasyland in Magic Kingdom, yeah, that was Fry Bucket. Um, that was me. So I got onto Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. We got stuck on the lift hill right as you were leaving the mine. And I thought it was gonna ruin the moment because Happily Ever After was going on and I was worried that I was gonna miss the end of the fireworks. No, they did that on purpose. As we were coming out down the hill, it was the very ending, the buildup, you know, when Tinkerbell comes out. I was filming myself. I haven't even watched the video. I hope I got it on camera. Tinkerbell flew. She flew while I was on. That was the most magical moment of my life. There were fireworks on both sides of me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm never getting over it. That was that was my peak. I just peaked. You saw it happen. You saw it on camera. I was yelling. I'm sure the people around me didn't love that, but I was like, it's Tinkerbell! Wow. Now I'm riding Little Mermaid. There is not a single other person on this ride except for me. I just walked through the queue by myself. All right, after Journey of the Little Mermaid, I think I want to go to Tomorrowland Speedway. It is 15 minutes. Weights are very low right now, so 
if you have kiddos that are old enough, are able to, or if you have no kids and want to, highly recommend staying after fireworks because that's when a lot of the rides are gonna have super short wait times and you can fit a lot more into your day. So that's what I'm doing right now. It is 9.33. We still have over an hour before park close. It's 9.33. I have a lightning lane for Magic Carpets of Aladdin at 10. And then I have Peter Pan's flight that starts at 10.10. Buzz is only a five minute wait. So I think I'm gonna do Buzz first and then the people mover. And then we'll head over to our lightning lanes. I did all right. I'm not very good at this game. I'm better at Toy Story Mania. What am I? Planetary pilot. Oh, I've done better. I've been a space ace. All right, next up, I think I wanna go do Tomorrowland Speedway. So we're doing good, we're trucking along. The people mover is currently down. Space Mountain is out of lightning lanes. It is at a 45 minute wait. So that might possibly be my last ride of the night or it might be Astro Orbiter for a long, long time, most of the evening. Astro Orbiter has been a 50 minute wait, 5-0. to do one-handed. Look at Tron! Ah. It would be really cool to ride it at night. I'm sure I will one day, but I like it. Very pretty. It is 10.04. We have less than an hour left in this park. I have six rides left. Two of them are lightning lanes. I still want to hurry tomorrow night. Magic Kingdom also stays open until 11. So if I don't finish everything here tonight, I can come back tomorrow. I do have wiggle room because Magic Kingdom will be open until 11. So here's the plan. We're going to Small World. It's a five minute wait. We're gonna do that. Then we're gonna make our way back to Adventureland for Magic Carpets of Aladdin. Then after that, we will come back to this side of the park and we'll see what wait times look like then. Still says five minutes. All right, I changed my mind again. We're going right across the street. Peter Pan's flight. Standby is 50 minutes, so we're gonna cash in this lightning lane right now. Look, it's Emma, Quincy, and me! We're mermaids! Now, realistically, I don't think we're gonna get all of Magic Kingdom done tonight. I don't have high hopes for it. We are going to go walk very quickly over to Adventureland to get in Magic Harbors of Aladdin. We have a lightning lane for that, so it should be very quick. Now, I will say, the park closes at 11. As long as you get in a line by 10.59, you'll be able to ride it. So I'm going to get in line for Space Mountain last. And right now it's only 30 minutes, so that's really not that long. But I'll wait that time after the park is technically closed. Astro Orbiter, for most of the evening, has been 50 minutes, almost an hour. Now it has dropped down to 20. And then our last ride, the People Mover, is temporarily closed and it has been for a little bit so i'm not imagining that that is going to come back up they only have 20 minutes of park hours left so that probably won't reopen so most likely we're gonna have to come back and at least do people mover tomorrow Ooh, this ride needs some wd-40 goodness Ooh, they're working on all right, and just like that, we are heading back across the park, back to Tomorrowland. So I have a new thought. I keep changing my mind. It's 1047. So what I'm thinking now is I'm thinking I should probably go ride Astro Orbiter because it does not have a lightning lane. Space Mountain does. So I could easily grab a lightning lane tomorrow. 
and not have to wait very long for it. Alright, and that is the end of day one. It is now 11.09. The park is officially closed. I cannot hop in any more lines. I don't know if you've been keeping count, but I just counted how many rides I rode today. I rode 34 rides today. What? I completed everything in Animal Kingdom, which is eight. I did four rides in Epcot, which is 12. And then Magic Kingdom has 24 rides total that we're counting as rides. I have all but two left. So that brings our total from today to 34 rides. I actually impressed myself with that one. I used one virtual queue. I bought two individual lightning lanes. Genie Plus for eight, so I got eight lightning lanes. And then I rode 23 rides in standby line. I didn't know what the number was until just now. That's impressive. It is currently 8.19, park opens at nine. At 7 a.m. I got a Cosmic Rewind virtual queue and it's group 25, so it's early. I also got a Genie Plus Lightning Lane for Slinky Dog Dash in Hollywood Studios for 2.10 p.m. So right, after, right as soon as park hopping starts. So we're doing really good. At 8.30 when Hollywood Studios opens, I will go and buy the individual Lightning Lane for Rise of the Resistance. I'm going to rope drop Frozen and hopefully Soren. And then after that, there's not really any big heavy hitters. Maybe I'll get Genie Plus for Remy's, I don't know. But the rest of the time, I'm just gonna stack lightning lanes in Hollywood Studios so that I can get through that part quickly. So there are a couple different good rope drop options in Epcot. One is Frozen Ever After. Test Track would be another good one to rope drop if you're with a group. I, however, am by myself and it has a single rider line, so I'm not worried about that. Genie Plus. Lightning Lanes for Remy's Road to Adventure is already out to 5 p.m. I will not be in this park at 5 p.m. So, won't really be get, grabbing one of those. Now, all of the countries in World Showcase don't really open up until 11, but the rides open up with the park opening. I'm sure most people, for early entry, those resort guests for early entry, they're already in line, probably, for Frozen Ever After. And they're also probably in line to meet Anna and Elsa. I do see a bunch of people standing outside of Anna and Elsa's meet and greet. So just be prepared, be flexible. You're in Disney World, you're gonna have a good day no matter what. All right, 45 minutes for Frozen. I don't think it's gonna be that long. Frozen Ever After, only a 25 minute wait. When I got in line, it was posted 45 and then after I was in line for a couple minutes, it went up to 55 minutes. Now my virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy has started. It is 9.38. I have until 10 to get over there, so I'm gonna go over there now. So wait times aren't too bad. The only one I'm concerned about is Remy's. That might be, that might be a long line. Here to check in on Friday. This time a little early in the morning. Now today is gonna be kind of harder for her because uh, well, it's a Hollywood Studios day, and uh, riding every attraction in Hollywood Studios without waiting in some lines, that's gonna be pretty tough. She might have to wait in some lines today, some longer lines. So I don't think it's gonna trip us up too bad because she did such a great job yesterday, but I think she just got off of Frozen. I'm gonna meet her at uh, Guardians, make sure she's uh, doing okay. See if she needs any water, a sandwich, a hug, whatever. And next on the list is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. This is currently my favorite ride in all of Disney World. Every time I ride this ride, I have so much fun. I am smiling, I am laughing, I come off of the ride so happy. And no other ride does that for me right now, even after Tron. Tron is very, very cool. And I love that we have it now here in Disney World. But there's just something about Guardians, it's just so fun. That's, anytime anyone asks me about it, that's what I tell them. It's so much fun. 34 rides yesterday? That's amazing. 34. You're a star. Thank you. How are you feeling this morning? I feel really good. Feel I'm pumped. I'm determined. 
determined. You're energized. Yes. Yeah. I you're, got to sleep. You got to sleep. <laughs> but you're, I feel like you're, you're gonna actually have to wait in some lines today. Yeah, I think so. It's okay. okay. It's okay. All right. Lightning lane virtual. I mean, uh, are you virtual too? Virtual too. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, do you, need any, do you need anything while you go right virtual queue? Um, you're coming with me. Wait, what? How? How? You're on the virtual queue. How did you? How did you even swing that? I have my way. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. well, then it's a good day for everybody. <laughs> yeah, it is. This, I'm not gonna lie, Fry Bucket. This is the longest uh, I've ever stood in. I've ever seen yeah. the virtual queue go like it's out the door. And we're standing still. And we're standing still. Sometimes, usually, like I've gone to like up there. That's where the virtual queue starts for me. But uh, this is a new experience. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man, then you're likely doomed. Tracks! Good luck! You're gonna need it. We didn't, get it, we didn't get a new song for you, no. but we didn't get Disco Inferno. No, we didn't. Kong is a great song, guys. Just want to say that out loud. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is a very popular attraction at Epcot, but keep an eye on it. The entire time in line, it was 45, 50 minutes. We're like, oh, that's doable. She just saw, she just saw the number. <laughs> oh, no. It's 80 minutes. Oh, jump to 80. All right, we've, we've, all right, game, all right we've, got, we've got to talk game plan here. So we're just saying a little prayer that Remy's is like like there's gonna be like a lunch rush. People are gonna have to go, have to go eat. And that's where we're gonna do Remy's. But currently, Mission Space is a 60 minute wait. But there are two different sides to Mission Space, which always people always forget about. So they look at they look at the app, and the app only shows Orange Mission, which is a 60 minute wait. But Green Mission is a five minute wait time, and there's no rules against. No rules. It didn't say which one I had to do. Yeah. So, so Mission Space Green it is. You know, I've never done Mission Space Green before. Oh, it's so much better. This than will be orange. my first time. I'm always like, if I'm gonna ride Mission Space, like I'm gonna do it. But Green, Green Mission is way less intense than Orange Mission, so let's see what happens. And for landing, activate manual control. <laughs> Loading flight plan. We've, we've been in here a little too long. <laughs> it's not, nothing is working. <laughs> I want to go to space. Aren't you, aren't you ready to yaw, Fry? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, team. All of us here. Yeah. 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 I'm a changed man, Fry Bucket. Like seriously, green green mission is peaceful with like a little bit of thrill. Mm -hmm. And like you're just flying over you're just flying over countries. It's like Soren but from space. Yeah. In a in a in a dark closet. Mm -hmm. I love that. I'm gonna tell the world. I like green mission. All of the ones in the front, and then we'll have Remy last. We'll do Remy, however long that's gonna be. And then right after that, we can hop on the Skyliner and hop to Hollywood Studios. Yeah, from the International Gateway. Mm -hmm. Smart. Uh oh. Wait a minute, we just heard that there's been a slight delay, that test track is might be down. Hi, hello. Thank you. They're letting us in even though they're facing a delay. We don't. Oh, I see people getting out of line. What will that delay be? I don't know. How long will it take us? I use calculated risk right now, Fry. Luckily, there wasn't a huge wait. Uh, it was only down for maybe like five or ten minutes. Worth it. It is a 50 minute wait currently. I don't think it'll be that long, hopefully. And then we'll go to Grand Fiesta Tour Great. in Mexico. Awesome. And then we will end Epcot with Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. And we have to be, we literally have to be by, at at studios by three. Yes. In order, because we can't get another Slinky Dog no. reservation for you. Slinky Dog Lightning Lanes are gone for the day. I tried to modify one to make it a later time. That's what I did with Mickey and Minnie's. I pushed it back. Slinky Dog is gone, so the only time we can ride Slinky is from 2.10 to 3.10. We're cutting it close. We are. 
Oh, so close. All right. Because it is so crowded today, uh, we've made the decision. And I don't, Fry's not thrilled about it, but. No, but it's realistic. So it is 1.15. My lightning lane for Slinky Dog Dash ends at 310. So I can go from 210 to 310. Remy here is 60 minute wait. I also have to do Grand Fiesta Tour, which is, that will be no time at all, that's fine. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is ride Grand Fiesta Tour here, go to Hollywood Studios, do all of those lightning lanes that I've been stacking all day long. I mean, but honestly, like your Hollywood, your Hollywood Studios I mean, they're like back to back to be, you're gonna be done yes. with everything by seven, oh, if yeah. not sooner. I hope so. I still need to get one more for Mania, but then I'll have all of them, pretty much. And then I'll have to come back to Epcot, ride Remy's, and then I will have to go to Magic Kingdom to do two more rides in Magic Kingdom. Oh, I didn't know you were going back to Magic Kingdom. That's yes. the first I'm learning about this. But they're open until 11. What are you doing in Magic Kingdom? It's just people mover and space. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna get us food while you go do that because if I can't get a tequila flight, I'm not going to Mexico. That's fair. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna get you food. Okay, Goodbye. You. All right, next up on our list is the Grand Fiesta Tour starring the three Capilleros. Um, The sign's not here anymore. The sign's gone. Is that new? All right. I bring snacks. Okay, the plan has changed. We're going to Remy's. What? What happened? The sweet angelic voices of the three caballeros made me realize something that we were forgetting. Oh, what? There's a 15 minute grace period. Yeah. So oh, technically, I, I have until 3 o'clock. Well, right. Yes, that's true. What is it? I haven't seen the wait time. What is it? Remy's is now at 55. Okay. So it's gone down. I think, I think we have to try it. We made it. It's 55. But we're gonna take that chance. I don't know if we're gonna make this fry. It's gonna be really close. We've been in line for almost an hour. 50, well, 55 minutes. Eesh. And we now have an hour to get to Slinky. Okay, we, we have an hour. But we have to We have to get to a whole other theme park. You have to get to the back of that theme park. Yeah. We finally did it. We made it. One hour. One hour. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. So now we are briskly moving to my car and hopefully we will make it in time with the 15 minute grace period. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's like 400 degrees it's in here. so hot. Come on. <laughs> Milk, why is the emergency brake on? <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Milk was a bad choice. It's 310. <laughs> So here's the plan. Say so just gonna drop me at the drop off. We're not, well, he will have to eventually go park. Okay, he just dropped me off. It is 3.15. We have, ah, my ears. We have 10 minutes. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. My bag went off at security, even though I was holding all of my portable chargers. I have five minutes. This is about to be the quickest fry walk that has ever happened. Update, it's 321. Okay, oh my God, it's 322. We're so close. It's 323. I think I have blood on my hands. Where is that coming from? Oh my God, I just broke my nail. Y'all, there it is. 324 on the screen. Wait time is 130 minutes. Oh. oh my god. I scanned it at 324. 324, I had one minute left. If I don't complete this challenge, 
I'm happy with that. Not happy with not completing it, but happy that I just did that. We were in Epcot at three o'clock. Wow. I want to stop and chat and talk about what just happened, but we don't have time. I still have to keep going. It is 3.34. I have less than 15 minutes to get to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway before that lightning lane expires. Sage is still parking. I texted him to let him know because I know he was worrying. I'll be honest, in the Remy's queue, when we were stuck in there for a long time, I wasn't very hopeful. I thought that was gonna be it. Sage and I even talked about it. We were like, you know what? This might be it, but it's not. Y'all, I think I can really do this. Okay, we're good. It is 3.37 and I had until 3.45, so we can, we can take a breath. I successfully parked. By right, this time, you know, this thing up for her is Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, and then she's got to book it to Tower of Terror. Okay, I call this the handoff. I see him, there he is. This is the handoff. She's gonna go. She's gonna keep going to Tower of Terror. Gotta go to Tower of Terror. You, you, you have time to stop. Keep on going. You have time to stop. Ooh, -hoo. 80 minutes. That's gross. Um, but thankfully, we have a lightning lane. Now, if you're still wondering how I managed to book all these right back to back, we have tons of videos on our channel. But basically, every two hours while I was at Epcot, those lines weren't super long. So. I started booking lightning lanes for later in the day for Hollywood Studios, so now they're all right one after each other, which is a good thing in theory when you're booking them, but not so fun. I mean, it's kind of fun. Bye. Oh my goodness, the odds were in my favor. Just missed it. You guys hear that? Tower of Terror is currently closed for technical difficulties. I think I was the last one on it. I think you were just literally the last one on it. Wow. It is 4.43 and my Toy Story Mania Lightning Lane just started at 4.40. So we're gonna head over to Toy Story Land, possibly do Alien Swirling Saucers after that. I think it's a 40 minute wait right now, which is Way too long for alien swirling saucers, but. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so <laughs> glad we agree on something. Wait time, standby is 65 minutes. So let's go ride lightning lane. Thank you. Save your arm. Save your arm. Don't ever do the practice game. I got way too caught up. I was only supposed to be there for the morning. I ended up being here until like, until 5.14. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna nail this. I'm like, oh, she has a couple rides here at Hollywood Studios. She's got two more rides at Magic Kingdom. I'm 99.9% I'm positive she's gonna nail this. So I'm glad to be along for the journey. Go get it. All right, Toy Story Mania complete. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead to Alien Swirling Saucers right over here. It is currently a 35 minute standby wait but I'm okay with that. Here we go! <laughs> it was really only a 15 minute wait, so not bad at all for one of the best rides in Disney World. So I have a plan. Let me explain. It is 5.37. My Rise Lightning Lane starts at 6.05. The only rides I have left here are Rise, Star Tours, and Smuggler's Run. Which Rise I have, Lightning Lane, won't take any time. The other two won't take any time at all because they're quick rides. So I'm thinking for the next 20 minutes, 
Maybe we take a break. We get some nutrients, some sustenance. So a fun fact about myself, I did do the Disney College program back in 2019, and I was on opening team of Galaxy's Edge, where I worked at Docking Bay 7. So anytime I get to eat here, I really do enjoy it. I think it has good food. It's great quick service. So I am very happy to be eating here. All right, so I ended up getting, this is actually my favorite thing that Docking Bay has. I'm not counting the Ronto Wrap because that's at Ronto Roasters. That's a different restaurant. But this is actually my favorite item on the menu at Docking Bay 7. I've loved it since it opened. It's actually plant-based, which really surprised me when I first tried it, and I loved it. Plant-based meatballs with hummus and pita bread. This is the Felution Kefta Hummus Garden Spread. It's amazing, and I get it all the time. I love it. And technically, my lightning lane for Rise of the Resistance has already started, but I have an hour. I'm not worried about it. I think while I'm here, I'm gonna hop in the single rider line for Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, because that, Every single time I've done single rider, it takes no time at all. So we can get this done and then we'll head to Rise. All right, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run was a walk on with the single rider. No time at all. It is currently 6.37. My lightning lane is from 6.05 to 7.05, so we got plenty of time. The current standby wait says 75 minutes. Oh yeah, that's right. But we paid for an individual lightning lane, so we're good. right here in Hollywood Studios is Star Tours The Adventures Continue. Standby wait is only five minutes. Let's go. I am Princess Leia of Alderaan. We've placed a rebel spy vital to the survival of the rebellion in your star speed. Star Tours done. I feel like that's a classic MGM Studios, Hollywood Studios ride. And actually this week they announced that new scenes are coming soon so anything from the trilogy is up for grabs so i'm very interested to see what else they're going to add that means we're done with hollywood studios it is 7:20, and honestly i would have been done earlier but i actually took my dinner break was probably at least half an hour so i was able to take a nice break which was needed after all that running around time to head to the front of the park hop on a bus and ride two more rides in magic kingdom and just a quick bus ride over and we are back at the Magic Kingdom with this beautiful sunset. Look at the, so pretty. <sighs> Let's finish this. It is currently 8.05 p.m. I have a lightning lane for Space Mountain at 8.30 and the other ride I have left to do is the People Mover. So we gotta head to Tomorrowland. It's an empty Space Mountain queue. Just kidding. There's people up there. Okay, Space Mountain is done, which means we only have one more. And it's the People Mover. And it's only a five minute wait because the fireworks are about to start in two minutes. This is going to be perfect. It's starting! For your safety, remain seated at all times. Keeping hands, keeping hands. Do you know arms, what this means? Feet, legs, and 
I did it. I did it with time to spare. It's only 9 o'clock. The park is still open for two hours. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Room, presented by the stars of their ever boxes. Spacecraft to monster labs. There's really nothing like it to do. Okay, wow. What a way to end the night. What a way to end this challenge. Video's not over yet though. I think we deserve a treat for completing this challenge. And plus we have things to talk about. So, I'm gonna go get me a snack, a fun little treat, and then we'll sit down and we will discuss everything that just happened. Okay, it keeps spilling because it's melting. I need to eat this very soon. I got us some ice cream to celebrate. It's a brownie sundae from the ice cream parlor here on Main Street. I am just sitting on a curb, about to eat this brownie sundae. It's got brownie underneath, all that ice cream, I promise. And I got a cherry, whipped cream, and hot fudge on it. So I'm just gonna take a minute and enjoy this because I think I deserve it. Wow, that was crazy. Um, would I recommend you do this? Probably not. And I still have the envelope of our top secret location. I will open that now. Of course, I completed the challenge, so I do not have to go to this location. I do not have to do whatever activity this is. So let's see. It's very hard to do with one hand. Hold on. <laughs> and the city that I would have had to fly to is Dayton, Ohio. And I was going to have to take you along with me to visit the Wright Cycle Company Shop which apparently has something to do with the Wright brothers. Uh, I hear that they either worked on bicycles before planes or what have you, I don't know. We were gonna find out together, but I don't have to go to Dayton, Ohio now. Okay, now that I just completed that challenge, where do I go from here? What should I do next? Do you have any ideas about what challenges you wanna see our team do on the channel? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and now go watch Quincy, Emma, and I have the perfect day in Magic Kingdom and park hopping to Epcot. See you there!